Hey everybody, well it's Wednesday so it's Maya time. We're going to do a new modeling tutorial in Maya and I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, cover a truck trailer full of cargo with a tarp without actually having to create the cargo. Pretty neat. And before we dive into the video, just want to remind you guys that we have a challenge going on where you can win a Keyshot Pro license worth 1600 bucks. I'll put the link up here. Okay, here we go. Okay guys, well we're in my uh, 2020 and in front of us is a bunch of cargo boxes on pallets. Now the idea behind this is that I received a question from a viewer asking me to uh, demonstrate how to create a tarp to cover cargo on the, the back of a flatbed, so a truck trailer, right? Now uh, in order to simulate that, I created a bunch of pallets with boxes as you can see. And uh, let me just take this and push that down a little bit. and what i'm pushing down right now that is supposed to be basically the bed of the trailer right so what we'll do here is i'll right click go in here and get rid of that right and then we'll take this edge right here and kind of tuck that in close like so and then in the back here i guess that's fine and then we could take the whole thing in object mode and hit r and kind of push it in a little right so let's just, uh, for argument's sake, say that that's the back of our trailer. Now, I want to cover this with a tarp. Okay, so what I did is I made this a fixed object. And what I'll actually do is I'll take these two here, go in my modeling menu to mesh and combine. So now it's one object, right? Okay, so the second thing we're going to do is we're going to create the actual tarp. So we're going to go in, we're going to take a polygon plane. We're going to scale that out. Hit W, raise that up so we can see what's going on. Scale it a bit more. And the idea here is if we jump to the top, we want to scale this up to the extent that we have some end cloth sticking out on the sides, right? So we're going to hit W, we're going to move this in a little bit, maybe even have it go down a little bit here. And let's actually make sure we got enough to cover everything, right? Something like this, I would say. Okay, maybe a bit further this way. Scale it up a little bit more. We've got two sticking out from each side, a little bit at that end and a little at that end, all right? Okay, so now that we have this, we need to make sure whenever we're doing something with end cloth that we have a huge amount of subdivision to make it look realistic, right? So with the, the plane selected, we're gonna hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. And instead of having 10 by 10, I'm gonna change this to 100 by 100. Reason being, that will look a lot more realistic, right? Now, if that's a little bit too much for your system, tone that down a bit, but that should be okay. All right, so I got this selected. Now, what I'm gonna do first is turn this into actual end cloth. So I'm gonna go up to my FX menu. I'm gonna to go to end cloth and create end cloth. Now, as soon as I do that, I have an end cloth object, and then I also have a nucleus. Now, with the nucleus selected, if I hit Control A and open up the attribute editor, you'll see that we have a gravity, 9.8 in strength, which is basically the equivalent of gravity on Earth. It also says that the gravity direction is negative 1 on Y. Now, Y is the normal up direction in Maya, uh, so negative 1 is down, which kind of makes sense because that's what gravity does for it. So what I'm basically saying is that this tarp has now gravity pulling on it. Let's see if that's true. I got 700 frames on the animation right here. Let's just hit play and see what happens. It's falling straight down. And as you can see, it's going straight through our cargo. Now that to totally makes sense because we never mentioned towards end cloth that we do have cargo, right? Now I made all of this into one single object. So I'm gonna select it in the FX menu. I'm gonna go back up to end cloth and then I'm gonna go into create passive collider. So I want the end cloth to collide with my cargo. Let's see if that is now happening. So I got a rigid body here, as you can see, we're gonna hit play. Let's give it a sec. All 
It's starting to cover our cargo nicely and we'll just have that play out for a sec until we're satisfied with the position, right? And you can see it's falling underneath right now. I basically want it to uh, be going straight down, right? So I'm gonna bump this up to, let's say 1200 because it should settle by then. We're gonna jump back to frame one. Let's play that again. And those folds are awesome. And we'll have that play out for a second. Hopefully that will settle. And if it's going too nuts, we'll just kind of have to stop it about here. Okay. Now let's say I'm happy with that. Let's have a look. Now here you can see that all the cargo is covered, all of it, right? We got some nice folds going on, looks awesome. And here, that is gonna be the front end of um, our trailer. Now, what we can do here is we can select the sky once we're happy with this, and we'll go up to edit, delete by type, and history. So now it's no longer an end cloth object. So if I jump back to frame one, I hit play, nothing happens, right? Now the cool thing is, if this were the front end of my trailer, let's go in here, and let's just uh, take these edges, right? Control E to extrude and W to pull up as an example, right? Basically, you wouldn't see any cargo at all. And you wouldn't see any cargo on the trailer bed either, right? So the cool thing is I can take this tarp right now, right? In object mode. Come on, yeah. I can move that up and I can basically get rid of all of my cargo. Right? I don't need any of this. So imagine the uh, reduction in poly count. This is now a stationary object, right? So what I can do is just literally get rid of all of this. I'll just hide it, right? And I'll take this and I'll take a new polygon plane. I'll hit W to pull it up and we'll turn that into a new trailer. And I'll just go in here and go into edge and click on that. Control E to extrude, W to pull up. You get the idea, right? So that's how cool that is. It will save you a tremendous amount, right, of poly count. And we'll just raise that up to this level, yeah. And there you go. We'll move it in a little bit. I mean, come on, is that cool or what, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And that said, see you guys next time.